Hey there tech fans, Rick here again with another review, and today I have the Jackery Explorer 500 Portable Power Station. In this video, I'll give you five reasons you're going to fall in love with this product and why I think it may be the perfect portable power solution for a day or two out in the field with family and friends to charge all of your thirsty portable devices. Now I'll start with the capacity. The unit has a 518 watt hour capacity and provides 500 watts of external charging, which means you can keep a lot of different portable devices running at the same time off this unit. And that number is really important because when you're searching for a portable power station like this, there's a wide variety of products available on the market, starting at around 100 watt hours and working their way up to thousands of watt hours that you can actually use to run your entire home. And finding one that fits your needs is really a matter of thinking about how long you'll be out in the field, what products you're bringing along, how many times you want to charge them, and how much weight you're willing to carry because when you buy a larger unit that can certainly charge and operate products a lot longer, you're carrying a lot of weight with you out in the field. And the worst thing that can happen is bringing that back home with 50% of the charge in it, which means you bought too big a unit. So what I like about the Jackery Explorer 500 is 500 watts is plenty of power to charge your phones, your tablets, your cameras, your drones. You can run lights, you can run a TV, you can run a portable cooler off of it and still have enough power for a day or two out there in the field without worrying about running out of power. So capacity is perfect. I think this one is right in that Goldilocks zone between being too small where you run out of power in the field or being too large and bringing it home with more charge in it. The second thing I want to mention is that this unit is solar panel compatible, which means if you're in the field and you're spending more than a couple of days out camping or fishing or hiking, you can bring a small solar panel along with you, plug it into the unit, and actually recharge the unit with nothing more than sunlight. The best part is a lot of the portable power solutions out there require a very sophisticated solar panel that has an MPPT circuit built into the solar panel. This unit has an internal MPPT circuit, and what that means is with a solar panel, the voltage and current are going to vary based on how much sunshine is hitting that solar panel. So you're going to get differences in voltage and current heading for the unit. That MPPT circuit, which is built in, actually regulates the voltage coming in. And more importantly, it grooms that voltage to actually flatter the battery. So it's squeezing every bit of efficiency out of the energy you're generating with those solar panels. And that's built in. That's a really important feature. Another thing I love about it is the number of ports. Now, you would think that more ports are better, and in some cases that may be true, but in this case, this unit can charge and operate seven different devices at the same time, which is just about the perfect number because you're not gonna have more than seven devices trying to plug in at the same time, and if you do, there are cables that'll actually split one of those ports into multiple ports, but seven ports for me is right around the perfect number to keep everything I need charged out there in the field, and those ports give you every possible output you could want, starting with the AC output put right here. So it's got a full-sized AC port that you can plug in anything you plug in at home as long as you keep it under 500 watts. So it'll operate lights or TV, electronics, uh, chargers for your laptop, chargers for your battery. If you've got a portable ice chest with you and you'll plug it in, you can plug it in there. So you've got a full-sized AC. You've got three USB-A ports right here. Those USB-A ports individually will supply 5 volts at 2.4 amps, which is the highest amount of current a USB charger can supply. So anything you plug at home into a USB charger, you can plug into those ports and charge them, you're going to be just fine. And then finally, there's a full 12 volt DC circuit over here, just like in your car. So if you've got a car charger and you plug it in your car, you can plug it into that port and charge to your heart's content. You'll also find two other barrel connections over there that are custom barrel connections that also supply 12 volts DC, seven amps between them. And those barrel connections can be converted through cables to other type of ports. So you can find a connector that will convert those to two more DC ports like in your car or specialty cables that may convert them for a cable that you can use with your phone or your tablet or some other portable device. So seven different units at the same time. I think that's just about the right number of units. Another key feature with this unit, which you may not find in other products, is the ability to charge and pass current through it while it's charging. So it's got a pass-through charging capability. And the reason that's important is because when you're home getting ready to head out for that big day, you're charging the unit. You can also plug in your phone, your tablet, your drone batteries, and all these ports up front become active. So while you're charging the unit, you're also charging all of your portable devices. So it makes it really easy to get ready for that big day out in the field because you're charging all your units at the same time. Once your units are fully charged, all the current goes into the batteries to fully charge those batteries. But using it like that means that I can plug one thing in, plug a bunch of things into it, and charge them all at the same time. The other cool thing is, 
it's sort of a port expander because if I'm taking it into my car and I want to charge it from my car outlet, the minute I plug it into my car outlet, all those ports become available as well. So I don't have to worry about fighting for who gets to plug into that car outlet. They can plug in here, they can plug in cables over there for their phones. So it's, it's a port expander that allows you to use one port in your car to expand to other ports that the kids can charge from, your wife can charge from, your husband can charge from. It just gives you a lot of flexibility in that case. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention was the sort of weight capacity and use case uh, equation, if you will. For me, I want to find the perfect match of power internally, number of ports, and the weight. The weight is super important because if you're heading out camping, weight is always an issue because you're carrying things out to your campsite or you're carrying them on a hike. You don't want something that's too heavy. It's about 13 pounds. But when you think about the amount of power that's inside the unit at 13 pounds, you're getting a lot of power for that weight. Whereas other ones, for some reason, are a lot heavier for the same capacity. I think they've done a great job at Jackery to engineer this to be small and portable and really, really heavy duty and give you a lot of energy inside the unit. So I like that that weight equation where I get a lot of power at a pretty low weight for the amount of things that I can charge off of it. So all those things being equal really make this the perfect portable power solution to take with you again anytime you're outside or if you're on one of those long road trips with the family and the kids in back have to charge their game consoles and their phones and their tablets. It seems like we're plugging in more electronics nowadays than ever before. This will handle all those needs and then some. So hopefully you found this review helpful. Thanks again for watching and until next time, stay nerdy.